appreciate it. I know she appreciates it. Thank you to Siobhan, everybody here in the gallery at the Grapevine for hosting the event and for hanging all of these beautiful paintings which are all on sale as well. So you can chat with Siobhan about that. Thank you to Padraig and Moraine for coming along here to say a few words this evening. So uh, now I'm going to introduce you to Siobhan here from the gallery who wants to say a few words. Patricia came to me first, I must admit it was something very new. It was very new to galleries. I mean, I don't know of any other gallery that's actually hung an exhibition like this. Um, the work, as you can see, is just extraordinary. Um, I've had two types of customers coming in. I've had the visual customer that just love, loves to see the colour and sees them for what they are on the wall. There's the spiritual and they come in and they see it much, much deeper. But then you get other customers also that come in and they say, well, this is something very new. I'm not quite sure of this. And when you actually say to them, this is nothing new. This is ancient. It's an ancient tradition, mandala. So I just want to congratulate you, Patricia. And um, thank you very much again for coming and introducing you. And now we have Audrey who wants okay. to say a few words. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, I just want to, ex to say something about the the importance of the book and how beneficial it can be to people who, uh, who make use of what it offers. Uh, I suppose in many respects it's a mindfulness book and mindfulness is something that most people in the West discovered in the past 10 or 15 years. Uh, people have found that the benefits of a simple, or on the face of a simple practice of returning your attention again and again to the present moment uh, can have profound effects on their state of well-being and in uh, reducing levels of stress and anxiety and so on. But I suppose and that, those effects have been very, very well researched, kind of researched inside out at this stage uh, as being very real. But then the question is what do you return your attention to? And for lots of people it's their breathing or walking um, maybe to the sensations in their body and so on. But uh, in recent years, people have found something new, and that something new is uh, bringing their attention to sort of cho choosing and applying harmonious colours to pieces of art, such as what you find in Patricia's book, and in that way creating a new piece of art themselves. And this is something that people have found to be very, not only soothing, but very, very absorbing uh, as a mindfulness practice, which helps stress to melt away while you're doing it, and which continues to have a benefit after you've done it. So, and I think that's the reason for the popularity of this, and I think it's why it's so great that we have this book from Patricia, in which she is uh, giving us mandalas to do that with, and of course mandalas have been around for a lot longer than mindfulness. Uh, mindfulness has only been around for about two and a half thousand years, and the mandalas go back further than that. Um, but I also like that the book has um, uh, sections in it for journaling and for writing down your thoughts and your feelings. Uh, as somebody who has uh, sort of kept a journal for about for over 20 years, which nobody has ever got to see, because I'll say whatever I feel like saying in it. Um, I would say that if you do that, if you, if you get into journaling, it changes your life in many different ways, almost, I would say, in, in innumerable ways. And so I would encourage you to use that aspect of, of the book, and I think it's something that makes it different to most of the mindfulness coloring books that you would see in the shops. And when you've used up the, um, all the journaling pages, you can either get another copy of the book, and see if you bother taking the two for one offer, two for 30 years off, and you have another one to hand. Um, or get yourself a notebook or open up a file on your computer and make that journaling part of your life. It's a really good thing to do. Um, so I think that this book really is it's, it's a great gift, and if you uh, actually make use of it, I think you'd find it would have a profound value in your life. And it has the added benefit that it's beautifully designed and published by Collins Press. It really looks looks good. I've had it sitting on a on a table at home for the past couple of weeks, and I just remark to myself every time I see it, the book looks really, really good. Um, 
So congratulations to Patricia and the Collins Press, and I wish you well with it. Thank you. Thank you. turning up today and it's really lovely to have the support and I really really appreciate it <clears throat> and I know that some of you have are very very familiar with Mandal and have been to classes with me and some other people might be less familiar with it and um, for me it's been an absolute journey um, into mindfulness practice and also into something more than that um, you can see every time I create I create very uh, intuitively so uh, with it something else happens and you come into a very um, into the flow state, I suppose. And you can see that mandalas, the, the, the word itself comes from the ancient Vedic scriptures, and the first usage of it was a chapter of chants. So it's the visualization of the sound vibration, and if you look up cymatics, if you're familiar with that. It's very, very fascinating, it's huge, and um, it's hugely powerful in, on so many levels, whether you just want to do it as just calming after a, a stressful day at work, or you want to take it further to, um, opening up your awareness to a bigger picture in life. And you can see the way that they literally you have flowers and you're going from the microcosm right up to the macrocosm of the planets and to everything. Just, that just comes true all by itself through no effort from me. And um, they are amazing to work with. And the synchronicities that come with it. And Julia, I, I didn't realise when I began this, um, I was in Malta with my friend Claire. Where's Claire? <laughs> and um, it's down there. And my daughter, Rebecca, bought a little wire mandala on the beachfront. And I had been researching the concept of coincidence and synchronicities and reading the work of Carl Jung. And I was writing a story, and I decided to have a character play with this wire mandala because I kept picking it up myself. And I realized then that Jung had drawn mandalas, and that was the first time I drew it. And then it turns out I had been back in Malta in June, and I get the book from the Malta Press, and I realized it's been printed in Malta. So while I was there, the book was there, I had begun it there. Oh, wow. <laughs> and it's just like, oh. it's just boom, boom. and that's the way it, it just seems to, to flow that way. And it's, it's a really interesting concept. Um, so yeah, so I really encourage you to engage with it on whatever level you, you feel comfortable engaging with it. Um, and I really thank you all for coming along and for your support. And I want to particularly thank Dillian and Colin Press and Tom and Fiona and Paula and all of you there. Um, I think they did a wonderful job. Um, it's a beautiful production. The quality is really lovely. I love the fact that we're all together. And I also want to thank Siobhan Batswell in the gallery here for taking me in, taking something different. I think it's very brave to you. Um, and I really appreciate it. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
I don't know if some of the pieces are here. No, I don't know. So, no. yeah, she's just keeping producing more and more. <laughs> anyway, this is called Halo, and it's for Patricia. Birds perch to rest at the heart as if to listen intently. Beady eye ready for the strum of spinning circles. A drum to keep time with it all. That they might fly and never fall inside a perfect circle. A nucleus, a hush of planetary wanderlust. Electric cosmic dust echoing what has been spiraling for centuries. Indian intricacies overlap with Celtic whisperings as Buddhist mantras kneel in chakra balancing to ease a silver fish into the stream of flowing knots. Dot follows dot to play a picking up of fragment of forget-me-not paths. Ask the way back and mark the spot for the eye to dive into the belly of a black ocean. A bubbling, a reckoning, storm in a teacup, gilded, fired up, spinning, crackling, then somehow fluttering, dripping, glistening, tears crystallized in a mastery, and asking please for holy healing alchemy. These windows we witness echoing a symphony of glowing dreams. Halos harnessed, winking through the darkness, for all who see to pause and breathe and dare to dream of peace. to everybody to come along enjoy the rest of the evening as Patrick said the books are on sale we have a special launch offer of two for 30 today and Patricia will be more than happy to sign as many books as you want to buy thank you very much enjoy thank you. Thank you.